I was going on guys, so you guys may have been wondering where the drone shots have been because I have not shot drone shots since literally January. They've not been in like any videos and realistically, I didn't tell anyone, but uh, I crashed my drone while I was out in LA. Actually, literally right into a palm tree, chopped up all the grasses and just fell straight out of the sky. Uh, it wasn't that bad, but like the arms on the drone were broken, so I could have tried to fix it or something, but I just sold that drone and bought another one, the same as I want. So this is unfortunately the third DJI Mavic Air that I've gotten. So this is the white uh, DJI Mavic Air. I really like this thing because first off, it's like fits in your hand. Um, I could literally put this in the case and put it in my pocket if I wanted to. Um, so it's super easy, convenient. Um, it shoots 4K. You can shoot slow motion on it. Um, it's got GPS capabilities, all that stuff. And um, I literally got it for like under $600 too, which compared to some other drones is super inexpensive. Um, anyways, yeah. So we're going to be using this again, incorporating some drone shots into the videos now. We're getting ready to hit a workout here. See you guys downstairs. All right, so now that we are in the proper attire, we're gonna hop straight into this workout. We do a little Q&A today, so we're gonna answer some of those questions that you guys asked us before, and we're gonna hop straight into this workout in three, two, one, let's go. Also, real quick, I'm taking this off for now, putting a t-shirt on because I'm hitting squats today. Not trying to tear it my back. Got sweat, got spots, got jocks, got blocks, red eye, 12 o'clock, I'm in the sky, going far. 300 hooters, pink sleeves, mama told me succeed. Tarzan, I'm climbing trees. They don't want you in double G's. They don't want you in AMG. Mama don't want me in these streets. The hustle don't want me to get no sleep. My bitch don't want me to fuck her room, man. It ain't us if it ain't a flea. They don't want you to rock bling bling. They don't want you to ride in foreign. They don't want you to have indoors, man. Just give me the fat pockets and the fat estates. Let the smoke go in the air and let it fade away. Anaka knee sleeves today. Um, you guys check out Anaka products. They have belts, knee sleeves, all these shirts dropping this Saturday coming up, actually. Um, code Ryan at checkout. Go check his stuff out. <sighs> Kyle has me doing uh, super, super low squats here. Normally, this is my my normal level, but we're down, we're down a couple notches today, so. That's your fault, man. <laughs> All right, so we're hitting 315 pounds right now. It has been, you guys know, like literally a month since I've hit heavy squats, so we're slowly, slowly working our way back up. Last week we did like 275. We're finally squatting two times a week now. So I talked to my coach, I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit some light squats, go 315, back it off at 225s. Yeah, she still work with a man. I can fall through just no games, yeah. <laughs> the concentration Woo! to set that down. Oh no. It feels pretty good. I'm going with like a, a wider stance now. I gotta get these weights out of the way. Um, so before my stance was probably like right here, a little bit narrower for like a bigger guy like me. So I'm going a little bit wider. Hopefully that puts more stress on the inside of my quads rather than the outside where the pain is. So if I move them out, hopefully there's less pain on the outside of my quads or I get that tendonitis. That's the, that's the thought, that's the philosophy going into this. All right, so very first question. When I'm cutting, do I implement cardio? If so, what's my go-to? Uh, if I'm cutting, I do, I did Stairmaster a little bit, but like a lot of people do Stairmaster, I'm not a huge fan of it. I'd rather either run outside, run on the treadmill, or just do some sort of sprints or something like that. I'm more of like a high explosive kind of guy. I'd rather not sit on the, the Stairmaster for 45 minutes. See, what was your squat progression from 15 to now? So when I was 15, I, mean, I remember the first time I hit 205 pounds. I clearly remember it. When I was 15 years old, depth was awful. I kept messing up my back all the time. Um, I hit 205 pounds. That was huge for me um, when I was like a freshman in high school. So then last summer I hit 585 pounds. And in competition, I hit like 573 pounds, something like that. So hopefully once I kind of heal up and stuff, I'm gonna be able to crush that, get past that into the 600s. Yeah, so started like 205. So like I said, keeping everything still very light. So we just hit that one set with 315, doing a set with 225 now, very lightweight, but we're just gonna do some sets of eight here and just, like I said, keeping it light, keeping the stress low on quads. What exercises built your bench the most? <sighs> I'd say, um, I'd say basically just to build your bench is just <sighs> benching itself, honestly, like just get better at benching. <sighs> um, I was benching four times a week now. Back in the day, I was probably only benching two times a week. So I increased my frequency of my bench, got better at benching, improved my technique and my form drastically. <sighs> so that's like, oh my God, I'm a fucking wrist. <laughs> 
the heck was that? <laughs> to build your bench up, obviously doing some tricep work, doing some accessory work and stuff like that, like getting your triceps stronger is gonna help. Getting your chest stronger, doing hypertrophy work and building chest muscle, doing you know your flies, your incline dumbbell presses, your dumbbell presses, but realistically the best way, and you're gonna build a good chest doing this too, is just bench, bench more, keep your, keep your back tight, get a nice arch going, refine that form, keep your feet planted, keep the leg drive the whole time, glutes squeeze, everything. You should be like a machine when you're benching. The only thing that moves is your arms. Everything else, completely stationary, completely tight. When I'm benching now, everything's super tight, nothing moves. I used to like sink the bar away in my chest, bounce it up. My arms are wobbling all over the place, flaring out to the sides. And uh, you know, hips would be coming off the bench and everything. Now, everything, I keep it tight, keep everything down. Only thing that's moving is my arms. You gotta become a machine, refine your technique, refine your form. Your bench will definitely explode. Easy. I can't fall off, I know they need me. Gang gang just like them, no no ones can't take no chance. They know I'm legend. <laughs> Uh, why is why is Kyle afraid uh, to put on muscle and size? Right. I'm not afraid to put on muscle and size. It's just my body is not capable of putting on muscle and size. So you're scared. You're I'm scared. Not scared. <laughs> I eat about like 3,000 calories a day, so I'm slowly gaining muscle. Um, I mean, 147 in the morning is pretty good for you. Yeah. So past two weeks, I've gained about four pounds, three four pounds, and I continue to do that. Want to get around like 160? That'd be like ideal. How did you and Kyle meet, and what do you miss most about dorm life? Um, so first off, I actually met this guy at the orientation for Ohio State last year. Um, you know, he comes in with like his golf shirt on and everything, and he's got his, his aviator sunglasses on. Um, and he ends up living across the hall from me last year, so we met through that. We ended up like literally hanging out with him and all his roommates like every single day, and then ended up rooming with him last year or this year basically. But what I miss most about dorm life is just like being around everybody. You know, what I mean, I'm sure a lot of people are going through the same thing where like you're missing seeing people, but it was like you know being in the dorms, you're always around people. You know what I mean? We had the people. People right next to us, we lived with them last year, Grant, Drew, Mike, every time we go to the gym, we know like 20 people there from the powerlifting club and stuff like that. So it's a really, really good atmosphere when you know a bunch of people who are motivating and they motivate you, you're motivating them. I miss all that and just like hanging out with everybody, seeing everybody, uplifting everybody, and uh, putting in some work. Best advice for an 18 year old who's been working out for six months to gain muscle. Basically just make sure you're eating in a slight caloric deficit, not too much, like Optimally like 300 to 500 calories over like your maintenance level and just eat like that amount for uh, a long period of time Like I literally bulked for like my first four years of lifting and uh, I constantly put on muscle mass and didn't really gain too much fat You just gotta make sure you're not overeating like eat enough so you see the scale going up But then also make sure you're lifting like intensely like come in every day write down if you have to exactly what you hit um, the time before come in and Make a journal, what, how many reps and sets you hit, beat that every single time. Come in, have the freaking willpower to come in and beat that every single time. If you have enough calories in your system, it's gonna be easy. I mean, it's not gonna be easy, but you put in the work, you'll get there over months and months and months, it builds up, I'm telling you. How much sleep do you get? Uh, right now I get a lot of sleep, I feel like, cause <laughs> I'll, I'll go to bed at like 1, 1.30. I was going to bed at like two every night, I'm getting better at it. So going to bed by 1, 1.30, I get up at like 9, 9.30. So I get a, I get a, <laughs> a real good amount of sleep. Right? Why don't you play football in college? Um, didn't play football in college because my YouTube channel is starting to kind of go up a little bit. I really loved fitness and obviously I had been doing fitness for like four years at the time. I really liked it and I was like, I had never had a time in my life where I hadn't been playing a sport. Like all throughout high school I was playing basically three sports except for sophomore, junior year. I was basically playing three sports the whole time and it takes up a ton of time. I was still working out through that whole time and I was like, maybe I'll give it a shot just to work out, train, get better, powerlifting, bodybuilding, all this stuff. So I tried that and um, I had you know a few offers, lots of division three, division two offers and um, and looks had a division one school, Toledo, um, all for me. But other than that, I was like, I wanna try out this lifting thing and my YouTube channel started to pop off a little bit, just a little bit. So I was like, see how far we take this thing. All the sleep I was in, uh, under circumstance Want me to fall off, can't go that easy I can't fall off, I know they need me gang, gang. For bench right now, we have a single on bench today, then we have a set of four, and then we have three sets. Possible to bulk without supplements, only food. Now, so my first, I've told my channel this a bunch of times, my first entire year to year and a half that I lifted, I didn't use any protein powder, any pre-workout, any creatine, anything. My parents wouldn't let me, so, and I still gained from 136 pounds, I probably got to like 170 pounds before I even started using any supplements at all. Fine, especially when you first start off, you're gonna have those newbie gains and you're gonna like be feeling very good if you push yourself every single day. You're gonna gain strength and it's gonna over time build up, so.
you see yourself in five years? Oh, same wait. height, same weight. You say same height? <laughs> what do you, what do you same mean? Same height, same weight. More muscle mass? You still More gonna muscle? Be... No, yeah, I'm gonna be maybe like a show. How uh, how much are you gonna weigh in five years? Two hundred? You mean well, all all juiced up on steroids and everything? And I mean, other than the horse tranquilizer, I'd say maybe an additional ten pounds. I mean, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Instead of like a Friday night. You know, out and about. You know, maybe Friday night with the boys back in the gym or something. Who knows? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now my turn. Where do I see myself in five years? You would ask me a couple years ago where I think I would be right now, and um, I would never have thought I'd be working with Alpha Lee, working with you know Nick Bear and VPN. I want to be the best powerlifter, the best bodybuilder, athlete I can possibly be. I want to keep making better and better YouTube videos. So five years from now, I want to look back and be like, man, my videos were so bad back then compared to now. My physique was so bad, my strength was so bad. I want to be like, I, did it. I don't know, man. Oh, God. Let's try it. Let's try 355 today. I want to eventually start something of my own, whether it's like, I don't want to be like so cliche and just start like a clothing fitness brand or whatever, but like I do want to start something of my own at some point and uh, you know, just build something up. I like building this YouTube channel. I like the whole building process of it. Just like them, no no ones can't take no chance. They know I'm legend. So question I get a lot is like, you know, like what's your playlist? What music do you listen to during your workout, stuff like that? And the big music guy is definitely Kyle. He's the one always bumping the music in the room at all times. So better question for him. What what music? What music do we listen to? So I typically like the light piano, soft violin instrumentals. Is that your thing? Usually Mozart or like Beethoven. Okay. One of the uh, classics. Sometimes it's like Beethoven's big in our dorm room, man. Other like, than that, I'd say like Olivia Rodrigo, maybe. I, what, what music do you actually listen to? I actually listen to a lot of either it's gonna be a lot of rap, primarily like NF for Migos. Sometimes Logic, maybe Rock, like Linkin Park. A lot of EDM. I got an EDM playlist on Spotify with about like 450 songs. So if you guys want to drop, go ahead. It's links in the description. <laughs> and um, yeah, go follow the playlist. 345 for a set of four now. So that's what we're doing uh, after that 355 single. Um, that was supposed to be at RP six to seven. Now we're supposed to be at like RP seven to eight. Plan on doing a bodybuilding show. I definitely do eventually. Um, right now, maybe I'm just trying to build my strength and um, in doing so, build up my muscle mass as well. But now, I think I'm in a good place to just keep building my strength up. Don't look at me strange, I got so good with the aim, so good at taking aims. Something about this fame, mommy, sometimes leave me drain. Biggest tips, you give to get faster and stronger for football. I honestly think bench squat, deadlift, do some power cleans, stuff like that, very explosive stuff. Get yourself stronger. The bodybuilding stuff is very good for obviously increasing your muscle mass, hypertrophy, and all that stuff, but it's not gonna help you with like like athletic strength and functional strength and stuff like that. So, so good, can't complain. Honey, spin like ones, millions feel like thousands. Never see the sun, always see the night. Would you ever consider quitting college to do full-time YouTube? I mean, it's like, it's always a consideration, but it's like, I'd rather have a backup plan or several backup plans or something like that. Just going into college, all intentions to do engineering, finish college, all that stuff. And it's like, it's crazy in a year, two years, like how much can change in only, in only a year's time? There's not necessarily longevity with it unless you make sure you have, like you have to, you have to make sure you're working on that stuff every day. It's always gonna have a backup plan. It'd be something cool to do but obviously I'd like to finish. Why does Kyle not have a YouTube channel? <laughs> Got this beauty. Oh my God, what is that? It's like a Sony A6300. Something like yours, man. Okay, okay. For any quarter. For any quarter, baby. How to improve 40 times. So it's a lot about your start. I know people that are like, you know, played soccer and stuff like that and they're super, super fast, but they can't start in a 40. So they, they just can't have a good time. You have a good explosive start and work on that a lot. How to improve squats with good depth. Honestly, hop on a program and just push yourself, man. Squats are one of those things, you can come in, especially at first, and just push yourself every single day. There was at one point where I hit 335 pounds my sophomore year of high school, 
and that was huge for me. Like I finally hit 335, which is a big number. But the following year, junior year, right after football, uh, right after football season, 375 pounds. That was like immediately a 40 pound PR. Later on that year, in my junior year, I hit 455 pounds. I came in every single day and I was like, I'm gonna add five pounds. I'm gonna add more reps. I forced myself. I was eating enough in a bulk. Enough. Come in with that freaking mindset. You're gonna increase it every single time. And over time, like I always say, those things add up. Those small little battles, you increase by one rep. Over the course of three months, that one rep multiplies into several reps and much more weight. If you can erase your memory to enjoy a movie like the first time, which would be probably The Sandlot. I don't know if, remember, I don't know if you guys remember that movie. It was from like the 90s or something like that, but when I was a little kid, man, I used to watch that like all the time. So many freaking times I watched The Sandlot. Such a good movie. Just like fam, no, no one can't take no chance. They know I'm legend. Mm. Should have ended that earlier than that. Just give me the fat pockets and the fat estates. Let the smoke go in the air. 